Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about WD My Passport 2.5 inches external hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. This video is going to cover PCB repair, PCB swap, disk data recovery, bad sector recovery, fix firmware corruption, quick data recovery tips. Inside of WD My Passport external hard drive case is a 2.5 inches USB port hard drive. The rest of this video, we are going to talk about how to fix the printed circuit board and how to do data recovery from the hard drive. Part 1. Printed Circuit Board Repair How the hard drive PCB works in the computer The data is stored in the hard drive. The computer accesses the data through the hard drive printed circuit board. Three common methods to fix a hard drive printed circuit board. One, clean the contacts. Two, swap the printed circuit board. Three, repair the printed circuit board. Method one, clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. PCB board repair method 2. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board and their functions. You may take this picture as a reference to fix your own PCB board. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board. This is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive relatively to the thin PCB board. Another side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time it's the USB port is broken, and most likely the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. This picture shows the common methods to fix a broken USB connector. Method 1. Swap the printed circuit board. Technical level, easy. Requirement, the donor board. Method 2. Use the SMD rework station to fix the broken USB connector. Technical level, medium. Requirement, 1. Donor board, 2. SMD rework station. This picture shows some regular components on the printed circuit board. How to fix a hard drive motor IC problem? 1. The bad motor IC problem symptom. The hard drive does not spin. There are many reasons to cause a hard drive to stop spinning. The bad motor IC is one of them. The bad motor IC may or may not have the burned mark on it. 2. Remove the bad motor IC. 3. Replace the bad motor IC with the new one. Fixing hard drive PCB board method 3. PCB board swap. PCB board swapping including two steps. 1. Find the correct donor PCB board. 2. PCB board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. 
locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Locate the hard drive PCB board number. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After find out the hard drive model number and the hard drive PCB board number, we use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 1. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board firmware transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board's BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. 
even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows how can we help you to find the donor PCB board for your hard drive. 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and its PCB board. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com. 3. You will receive the donor PCB board information within 24 hours. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. Part two, disk data recovery. Bad sectors recovery. Some models of WD hard drives have a special feature called TLER, Time Limited Error Recovery, which can reduce the time of reading the bad sectors safely. Bad sectors are the common cause to make the data not readable. Reading the bad sectors is not only time consuming, but also dangerous to make new damage to the hard drives. Some models of WFD hard drives have this feature TLER, which can read the bad sectors fast and safe. The TLER feature can be activated in the firmware of the hard drive. Default error processing. Reading attempt of the XLBA with a default timeout. In case of timeout limits access, rereading the same LBA a dozen times during a few seconds. Software hardware reset. Recalibration of the heads. Another reading attempt of the X plus one LBA. In the background, writing error logs inside the service area, as picture 1 shows. TLER error processing. Reduce the time for error processing and set your own internal hard drive timeout. Disable all non-critical service area modules. Switch off all background processes. Make fast and effective bad sectors reading and processing, as picture 2 shows. There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different way to read a hard drive, Sometimes this trick works. Another way is 
swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. Disk firmware corruption symptom. The hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive, and even the software-based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason: disk firmware corruption. Recommendation: Try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. USB to SATA conversion compatible PCB. When using the PC3000 hard drive repairing tools to repair a hard drive, replacing the USB PCB with the USB to SATA conversion compatible PCB is necessary because the USB PCB does not accept most of the low-level commands. The WD2060-8041 003 USB PCB to SATA conversion compatible PCB is 2002 If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. Tips. If the storage configured as mirrored hard drives, you can take the bent hard drive out, then put same size or bigger size another hard drive into the bay, and then the storage will mirror the data to the new hard drive automatically. If this trick doesn't work, that means the two mirrored hard drives are both damaged, or the storage was configured as read zero, that means the two hard drives are different. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.